as a priest, I try not to get publicly involved in partisan politics. But there's times when that needs to change. It needed to change during the rise of Hitler in Germany, and it needs to change now with the rise of Trump in the United States. Clergy need to step up and speak out. And this has become particularly important in the aftermath of the debate the other night, when the New York Times, the national paper of record, can come out with such a ridiculous knee-jerk reaction by demanding that President Biden step aside because of one night's poor debate performance while giving a pass to a man who's a convicted felon, a serial liar, a rapist, a fraudster, and a con man is simply not acceptable. For three and a half years, Joe Biden has had our back. He inherited an economy that had collapsed in large part because of the Trump administration's indecilic handling of the COVID crisis, an economy that was shut down in the face of over 1 million deaths overseen by the Trump administration. Because Trump is not a leader. He's a showman. And what he was concerned about then and what he will be concerned about in the future is not the benefit to you and I as ordinary Americans, but what his ratings are. Under Trump, we had promises of infrastructure every week for years. Nothing developed. He would point to piles of blank papers saying that this was his new affordable care plan that would be better than Obamacare, but it was only blank papers. Joe Biden passed a bipartisan $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill. He expanded the Affordable Care Act so that millions more people are insured and he's looking at tax reform that benefits those of us who are somewhere in the middle and below, rather than the extreme elite whom Trump continues to pander to. But most concerningly is that Trump hates all of us. He loves only himself. His trope that he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and get away with it, and not a single one of his voters would leave him, doesn't say anything about his voters. It says everything about him and the disdain that he has for his voters, that he falsely believes he can say and do anything, and the people that he has suckered into following him will continue to do so. It's time to tell him he's wrong. This is a man who could not recite the Lord's Prayer if asked. I doubt he could recite the Pledge of Allegiance. And yet he wraps himself in the Bible and in the flag, but he is neither religious nor patriotic. We need to have Joe Biden's back now. We need Joe Biden to stay in the White House. And hopefully this fever of Trumpism will at long last be vanquished. But it is up to us, the voters. Congress had its chance during his second impeachment. They could have barred him from running for office again they lack the courage. Now it's up to us. Let's have Joe Biden's back. Let's protect America. God bless you all.